Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I have another game in my Kansas City Royals season. We are currently in last place, as we have been for most of the existence of my managerial career here in Kansas City, and we are 20 and 40 um, in 60 games. We are seven games behind the fourth place White Sox, and we are like 11 and a half or 12 or something like that almost behind the third place Guardians. So uh, we are not doing well. Uh, let's take a look as we always do at our statistics. Uh, offensively, we are tied for sixth in runs, which isn't too bad. Our average is 13th, and our home runs are 13th. Though those two are kind of sketchy, but uh, tied for runs, tied for sixth in runs, is not bad at all. Uh, where the problem comes in is the defense. We are um, 30th in ERA, 25th in strikeouts, and 30th in defensive efficiency. So. That's where our problem is. It is our pitching. As you can see today, we are playing San Diego. They will be sending Tyler Glasnow out to the mound, and he's 3-4 and four with a 442 earned run average. But to illustrate the issue that I'm talking about with the pitching and the defense, we're sending out Juan Daniel Encarnacion, and he's 2-5 and five with a 719 earned run average. And again, I will reiterate that at least for this current season, I may try to change this uh, for next season. But for this current season, I am only the manager of Kansas City. The AI is the general manager, and so he makes the decisions about who I get. And so if it were me, I would be probably bringing up uh, pitchers from the minor league team and sending Encarnacion down and see if there's somebody maybe in our minor league system somewhere that could pitch better than this. But that's not my decision. My decision is to take who he gives me and try to win with it, which is becoming increasingly difficult. So we will get on with the game without any further delay here. Uh, I have to make some changes. Of course, I always have to make some changes. Uh, we have guys that are getting tired, but this is the last game before a day off, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but let me see what I'm missing here. Um... Looks like I'm missing a right fielder. So we will grab a right fielder, and uh, that will be Gavin Cross. And we will put him in right. And so I think now we have a complete lineup. And again, at 20 and 40, I'm not even concerned about how good he is and where he should bat in the order and all of that good stuff. You can see we have Encarnacion. So... Uh, let's go to, um, let's go back to the options in preview, and we'll go over the lineups. San Diego is going to have a lineup of Kanan Smith, Najiba, Nagi, Nagi, Xander Bogarts will bat second and play shortstop. Fernando Tati bats third, and he's in right field. Joshua Mears will be the left fielder, batting in the cleanup spot. Michael Bush will bat fifth and play first. Hey Song Kim will bat sixth and play second. Jackson Merrill will be the third baseman, batting seventh for them. Kyle Isbell, who used to be on our Kansas City Royals, will be their center fielder. Pedro Severino will be their catcher, and as I said, Tyler Glasnow will be pitching for them. For us, we're going to have Michael Massey leading off, playing second base. Bobby Witt Jr. batting second, playing third. Henry Davis is the catcher, and he's batting in the third spot. Juan Soto will be in left field, uh, batting fourth. Then Caden Wallace is uh, batting fifth, and he's the first baseman. Gavin Cross, who I just put in the lineup, will bat sixth and be the right fielder. Diego Hernandez is going to be in center in batting seventh. 
MJ Melendez is the DH batting eighth, and Tommy Troy will be the shortstop picking up the rear at ninth. And with that, we will get into the game. And here we go again with the bad TV angles. I am really, really at my wit's end about this TV view thing. It, let's see here. Initial camera view, I am going to say, default. I'm just going to put it all on default camera. Um, let's see. Um, pitch camera view, uh, pitch camera view, we're going to put default angle. Action camera view, we're going to put default default camera everything is going to be default camera because I am sick of trying to adjust this and and have it stay because I fixed this in the last game that I did the action camera will be the default and uh, the dynamic action camera will be whatever it is and let's see if this fixes the problem we're gonna get our tour of our park and he serves up the pitch and that's gonna be a strikeout and yeah I think we're I think we're good here I mean I, I'm not a big fan of this but I also don't wanna spend a lot of time trying to fix everything so I'm just going to the default ang uh, camera angle view and there's one out quickly, but it looks like he hit the batter, and so the batter will go to first base. They got a man on with two down, and Joshua Mears is up. I don't, I've never heard of, I don't know if Joshua Mears is real, but anyway, we make the play to second, getting the lead runner, and we're out of the first inning. So, Mr. 719 ERA and Canarcion came away with a clean inning which is nice to see um, we have Michael Massey leading off here against Tyler Glasnow and he's gonna strike out which brings up Bobby Witt Jr. And Bobby Witt Jr. is going to foul out to third base and there's two down which brings up Henry Davis, our catcher, and uh, he is the catcher because uh, Salvador Perez is on the IL currently. And so that is the final out of the first inning for us, and we go to the second inning. And Canarcion back out there, dealing and striking out the man. So that's nice to see. He's lowering that ERA. It's already down to 702. One down, and that is a nice deep hit, but a great play by the left fielder. Makes the second out of the second inning for San Diego. And now we're dealing to Jackson Merrill. Again, he's not um, somebody I'm familiar with. I don't know if he's really... Whatever he is, he just went yard, and he <laughs> put San Diego ahead one nothing on a home run to right field. And uh, that'll bring up Kyle Isbell. Now, as bad as this is, that we would be down one nothing, and Isbell gets a base hit, if we can get out of the inning, let's assume that we're going to get out of the inning, with the one run allowed by Encarnacion, that would still have lowered his ERA. Because that would be a four, a one run allowed for two innings is a 450 earned run average and significantly lowers his ERA. So we're down one nothing, and we're sending up Juan Soto to the plate. One of the good acquisitions that my uh, AI general manager got for us in this past off season, um, and that's part of the reason why we are tied for sixth in run scored. Caden Wallace, and also the bad record probably indicates since we are sixth, tied for sixth in runs scored, probably indicates that we are blowing the other team out 
in the games that we win and then um, not scoring a lot in the games that we lose. Um, because I'm sure if you looked at the Pythagorean record for us, we probably should have a better record than 20 and 40 if we're tied for sixth and run scored. Or maybe not, because the bad pitching is allowing a lot of runs too, so I don't know. But uh, that's possible too. So Xander Bogarts is up at the plate. And he is going to fl no, yes, he is going to fly out. I was going to say, why aren't you? <laughs> at first, it looked like it was headed to the gap, to back to the wall. But I'm like, why are you just standing there looking at it? So uh, he got uh, he's got two outs quickly here in the third, and he will deal to Tati Jr. And that's going to be a strikeout, and he's out of the inning. So he is pitching well, and Canarsione is pitching well considering the statistics he brought into this game. Now, maybe that's why uh, the uh, general manager is keeping him on the team, because he knows that the potential is there, and he just has to live up to the potential. And we just have to keep pitching him and, you know, waiting for him to come around. That's possible. MJ Melendez is up with one down here. And he is going to be out. He strikes out on what looked like an inside pitch. And then Tommy Troy, the shortstop and ninth hitter, is up now. And he gets a new... He gave that ball a ride, but it went to left field. And it uh, falls into the glove of the left fielder, uh, Joshua Mears. And he is the batter right now. So we are in the top of the fourth, only losing one nothing to San Diego. And San Diego is vying for... The division lead. They're only a half game out of their um, the uh, NL West division lead. So it's not like San Diego is a bad team or a mediocre team. This is a good team that we're that we're hanging with right now. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. There is one down, a man at second, and that is going to be an out. Yes, it is. And the runner moves over to third, so there's a man 90 feet away for San Diego with Jackson Merrill up and two down. And that is going to be an out. Fly out to the right fielder. He gets out of the mess, and, uh, and it really wasn't a big mess, but could have been bad if we went down 2 nothing. but as bad as we're looking against Glass now. Uh, Michael Massey is up. He's 0 for 1 this game. And he hits it right down the line to the first baseman for an easy out. He takes it himself. And uh, Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter. Bobby Witt Jr. has not lived up to expectations so far. And uh, that's one of the troubling aspects of uh, the uh, development of the Kansas City Royals as a whole in this replay. Henry Davis is up. Of course, Henry Davis in real life, he is on the Pirates, but uh, we have him in out of the park baseball, and now we've got two runners on, one down. This is a chance to do something against Glasnow, and especially with Juan Soto up. But Juan Soto is going to ground into a force at second base. Now we have runners at the corners with two down. We need a key base hit here by Caden Wallace. And did he get it? No, he didn't. He flew out to the left fielder. So we had a shot. Just didn't happen for us. So it's one nothing going to the top of the fifth. Um, of course, Encarnacion is almost gassed, and I didn't realize that. He was really uh, using up the pitches. Let's see if we can get him out of this inning. There's a pop-up, so that's one down. I would really love to get him out of this inning. Although, with the next day off, it's not as important because we can't... All right, he strikes out the man. Nice. I am just hoping he gets out of this inning. That's really all I need. Two down with nobody on, and he does. So we can warm somebody up, and we'll be ready with a fresh arm for the next inning. And uh, that is going to be Bryce Hubbard. I'm going to bring him, uh, put him up in the bullpen to get ready, since Encarnacion is really gassed. 
And we're also eating into Glasnow. It's the bottom of the fifth. I'm surprised Glasnow is uh, almost half burned up at this point. But Gavin Cross is the batter. And Gavin Cross is going to get a base hit. So he's aboard. Nobody out. And the batter is Diego Hernandez. Of course, I, I don't want to really sacrifice because we are sixth in run scored, so you would think we have a decent offense. Um, and also bunting, you know, statistics prove that that doesn't really yield desired results more than it uh, does. So there's two down, and Tommy Troy is the batter, and we are really working glass now. But that's going to be a fly out to right, and we are retired. And you know what? I am, even though Encarnacion's gassed, I'm going to see if he can get the first out. Probably not. We got a full count here. But he does. He gets the first out. I mean, I want this guy to go as far and get as many outs as he possibly can. And he is absolutely gassed right now. But that's going to be the second out. So I, now I'll go get the relief pitcher. This was great. I mean, he really pitched well. I'm surprised based on his statistics coming into the game. But anyway, we're bringing Hubbard into the game. And Hubbard hopefully can get the last out of the sixth inning. He has a 491 earned run average and he does strike out the guy that he faces. That also stretches out the rest of the bullpen but again not as important because we do have tomorrow off before our next uh, the start of our next series. And that was uh, you know he right there gave the ball a ride but Isbell was under it and there's one out. Um, Bobby Witt Jr., yeah, that was Massey. Massey giving the ball a ride. And, uh, yeah, Witt not giving it a ride. So there's two down, and Henry Davis, the catcher, is up. And that's going to be a base hit. So Henry Davis is coming through. He is aboard with two down, and they bring in Adam Morgan to pitch. So, yeah, he was getting down to the end there, and now Juan Soto is up with a man aboard and two outs. A home run here would be real nice. That would be great. But Juan Soto doesn't get that, and it's an out. So Isbell made the play. At first, I wasn't sure if that was a base hit or not. So we're going to the top of the seventh in a one nothing game. Again, this is the Western delete, Western leading, or almost like a half game out of the West lead team. And we are hanging with them. And that's going to be a fly out to right. So there's two down quickly with a man at first base for San Diego and Kyle Isbell up. And if I know anything about Kyle Isbell, it's that he's not a great hitter. Although right there... He, no, did did he make the play? No, it was a hit. So they got runners at first and second, and Pedro Severino, the catcher, is up, and he strikes out. So we do get out of the inning, and uh, I guess I'll get somebody up in the bullpen, maybe even Jordan Romano. I mean, get the closer up. We're we're that close. And we need every, we got to give ourselves every chance possible to win. So Adam Morgan's going to deal to Caden Wallace here. And Caden Wallace gives the ball a ride, but a great play by Isbell for the out in center field. And uh, Gavin Cross, the right fielder, is up. And he gives the ball a ride and another supposedly great play. Either that or Isbell is just showing off for everybody. And Diego Hernandez, the center fielder, is the batter. And he's going to hit an infield out as the second baseman plays it over to first. And we're going 
to the top of the eighth. And Hubbard still has some gas in the tank, so we're going to see if he can get the first out or two, just like I did with Encarnacion, but he walks the first guy he faces. And now I will go get the reliever, Jordan Romano. He is ready, and uh, with that walk, he was really he was starting to really be gassed, and I didn't want to take the chance, so we've got Romano in now. But Romano gives up a big double into the gap, maybe a triple, and uh, that's not, yeah, it's a double. It's a run-scoring double, and so now San Diego is going to be, no, they didn't score. I can't believe they didn't score on that, but they do have two runners on with nobody out, and uh, Fernando Tati up. And that's going to be an out. And he's going to be late with that, isn't he? He was. He was late with the throw. I don't know why we even decided to try that. But anyway, now that's going to be a shallow flyout. Let's see if we can get the runner at home. I think we did. Did we? No. Nope. No, nope, we didn't even get him. So now it's three nothing. So Romano just came in and burned the house down. I mean, we were our pitchers were doing real well up until then, and Romano just set fire to everything. So there's two down, and uh, Hey Sung Kim is the batter, and he's gonna walk. I can't believe Romano was this horrible. And that is the uh, final out of the eighth inning. And um, we are sending Melendez up to the plate. So we're now we're down by three. Now we're in real trouble here. He gets a base hit. I probably should go get somebody else up because Romano, first of all, just doesn't have it. Um, I'm going to get Ty Block up. He is totally rested. And we're not in a real save situation anymore. Tommy Troy, the shortstop, is the batter, and he's going to get a base hit. So we get the first two guys on. Now, if we were still only losing by one nothing, I would be real encouraged by this. But uh, losing 3 nothing, we'll have to see. Uh, Michael Massey is the batter. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, he made the catch. Unbelievable. Kyle Isbell makes an over-the-shoulder catch for the out. There's one down. Runners are at the corners. Bobby Witt Jr. in a key situation, and he tied the game. Bobby Witt Jr. ties the game. Nice. Well, now I am really encouraged. So it's three all, and uh, we have Henry Davis, the catcher, up with Juan Soto on deck. But he strikes out. That brings up Juan Soto. If he can hit a home run, we can just try to get him out in the ninth and walk away here. But he grounds out to first base, and he's out. So we are going to go to the top of the ninth in a tie game. Um, Romano is still not tired, so I will let him, you know, try to pitch to the next bat. He is just horrible. What is wrong with Jason Romano? All right, I'm going out and get him. I mean, I, I don't know what his issue is today, but we're going to bring in Ty Block. And there's two strikes on Ty Block. And then he hits the ball to center field where uh, the center fielder makes the play. And there's one down. Next batter. The next batter strikes out. So, yeah, Ty Block comes in and says, all right, enough of this fooling around. 
we want to take a win here. And that is a strikeout. So he gets out of the inning. Hopefully he can give me another inning. Uh, unless we score a run here. If we score a run here, of course, we don't need that. And L Jonathan Loisaga is uh, on the pitch. And Caden Wallace just won the game. He just won the game. Nice. I cannot believe that. So we came back. It looked like we were going to lose this bad boy. But thanks to my superior managerial skills, we pulled this one out. And we got our 21st win of the season. Royals take tight tang. Yeah, Royals take tight tangle. You ain't joking about that. That's a tongue twister. But yeah, wit thanks to wit and uh, and Wallace. And so in Canarcion, yeah, he lowers his ERA to 668 on the year. Uh, Hubbard pitched somewhat well, one and a third with a run allowed. Romano did not pitch well at all. And then Block gets the win, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.